Well, hello there, and welcome back to another Escape Simulator video. Hope you're all doing very well. And today we're going to jump into the fourth, which is Lost Spirits. And uh, hopefully, unlike uh, the last one, uh, everything will be nice and straightforward. But without further ado, let's jump in. Alrighty then, this looks a little spooky, doesn't it? I had some keywords that are highlighted there. Must. The recipe must be done in the correct order. And I think we need to make some of this psychic incense for burning. So we need morning bells flower. We need a man mandagora leaf. Easy for me to say. And we need almond, which is ground. We got a candlestick. We got a token. Mannequin B. Okay, I'm thinking we're going to have to make the mannequin into various different poses and positions, right? Oh no, we can't change this. Alright, so somewhere we are going to be able to change the position of this, I think. I think that's what we've got to do. Earth. All right, so we're looking for planets as well. The mirror is fixed. This is that one. The mirror is also fixed. quite interesting like they it, to me it kind of seems like they um they took quite a lot of like the early stuff and they developed it quite a lot further on i've never heard like any of the like voices and stuff in the uh models All right, let's see this reminds me of the uh the greatest showman let's put that in there and let's put the strip inside. Unless we have to actually combine it like this. Oh, we can swap it. Okay, so there's two different things that we can use, it seems. I'm assuming that we're going to need some sort of form of light. Click to spin it and look through the slots. Saw a three. It's definitely a three. And an eight. There's a three and an eight. Where is the lock, the combination for this though? Okay, so this is where we need to bring up our botany book. Okay, we need some of the leaf which is not the top drawer so some of this in the bowl please no not how we oh no hold on i only need to ground grind the almonds of course Okay, so got ground almonds, and then I think we needed like the is it catnip, uh, morning bells. No, we need the this blue one. So it's a whole one of them, and then we need some of the purple as well. Okay. We didn't follow the instructions, did we? There was more instructions. Where's number eight? No, that was... That was right. Oh, and hold on. We need to put them in the right order. All right, so let's... Uh, let's grind some more almonds. And uh, then we want... 
want one of these and one of these. So the order actually was, open my book. It's the green one. No, it's the purple one, the green one, and then the almonds. So purple, green, almonds. Two, four, nine. It's not that one. This one? Two, four, nine. Alrighty, what we got here? Got a piece of the Ouija board. Which is gonna go there. Else hiding in here? I guess not. Alright. So that's that. Scales. Sundial and timer. Wait. Hmm. Check these drawers. About this one. Okay, we've got another model. And this is uh, Saturn. Sure, what that's representing. I'll look that in here. So this is the. So this is the 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 models the models thing. We can probably get rid of that actually. Let's just place these down. Here. Oh, clever. Very clever. I was like, why won't these go on straight? But they totally will. So B is two. A is seven. Sorry. No. Seven, eight, two. Is that a one? Yeah, it was a one. Okay. To be honest, it's kind of hard to tell the difference between those two. Alright, so we'll carry on with this. We'll finish off this planetary model. The hands of Cosmos. Okay, so we've got Saturn, Earth, Jupiter, and Mars. Saturn, Earth, Jupiter, Mars. Oh, okay. I think what we've actually got to do, they're kind of the wrong way around, I know, but maybe we need to press them at the right time. So Saturn and Saturn. Saturn. That one would be Saturn. That one would be Saturn. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, no. This one's Saturn. This one is Jupiter. We press one. This one is Mars, which will be this one. This one will be Earth. 
Is that one? So have I got this one right? Which is Jupiter. There we go. We have a key. Why might I use this key? I think there's only one that has a lock on it, so I must have to use this key here. Excellent. All right, moving on. Another piece of the board. Some tarot cards. Let's get rid of these pins here. Finally, actually getting to grips with the controls of this, which is quite impressive, finally, after all this time. Right, let's start it. Six. Okay, so six, three, six, three, eight. Is it this one? Oh, we need to inspect these closer, though. So, hold on. This one is six. Six, six, six. This one is eight. This one is three. Or is it two? Ah. No, that one's eight. There we go. Bit of time. Three minutes left. I don't think we're going to do this in the time limit, but we can at least try. We're still missing a piece. I'm not sure where we get this code from here. Let's have a look at this, though. Right. It was at the Emperor's Ball when I, when I saw her for the first time. Very soon we became... Okay, so it's... What's this? So that's one. One becomes two. What if all I've been is back to one? It was the world to me, but the fortune would not have it. You know what? Like that last one, though. What's the last one? Oh, hold on. Something. Oh, tarot cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, okay. So, uh, right, we've got um, so lovers. So lovers, All right, emperor's ball. Emperor is emperor is five. So five. Oh, you can drag it. I didn't know you could drag it. Excellent. Very soon became lovers and made our vows before the prince. So lovers is six and the priestess is two. So that would be seven. Sorry, eight. Do math, knock. What a fool I have been. The fool is zero. And she was the world to me. So the world is 21... 21 minus fortune is 10, so that's 11. And strength. 11, that's 3. Hey, we got it. The final part of the Ouija. A. IOD Void Oh, a void A 
B. O. I. D. Uh oh. Oh my god. I think I literally did that <laughs> with like a, a second to spare to get the trophy. Holy jeez. One second on the clock. That's insane. Uh, but no, that was a pretty good one. That was a pretty good one. It wasn't too difficult. Most things were straightforward, which I didn't feel like was the case in the uh, previous one that we played. Also, uh, so, uh, no, I thought I was a token there. I guess not. But yeah, there we go, guys. We've got one more to do in the Edgewood Mansion series, and then we'll be moving on to the, uh, I think, isn't it the Omega Corp ones? which um, almost looks spy-inspired. And I think, actually, that that's like the final one. So, uh, yeah. For now, guys, thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, I've been Ock. You've been awesome. Stay safe. Take care. Happy gaming.